hi everyone welcome back to the channel aries the emperor here back with another general reading for the aries collective if you are new here welcome this is an all aries channel for all aries placements cross watchers are welcome as well just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone so just simply leave what does um, not resonate take what does do not force the reading okay this is energy energy is all fluid so we're going to jump right on in. This is your reading for the next seven days, give or take, okay? Thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes to the channel. Thank you for your donations. To those of you who book readings, uh, shop the vegan candle shop. I am running a sale on the website, 15% off all services and products. So run on over and, and take advantage of that as well as my members you are still receiving or i am still sending out your free readings for the month of august i have some uploaded that i'm going to send out to you after this reading okay so stay tuned if you'd like to connect with me or become a member and receive a free reading for the month of august i will leave all of that info in the description box down below okay all right y'all let's get into it Let's see what messages come out for you for the next seven days, give or take. I'm getting an energy of devil's advocate. It's an energy um, of, it's like wounded energy, jaded, reacting out of emotion versus logic. It feels like you have one upped someone in their mind um, and they be damned if you get away with it. It's, it's either... And there's a lot of emphasis on Leo energy at this time. Sun in Leo, moon in Leo, Venus is retrograded into Leo at this time. Um, and Leo is ruled by the sun. So that's emphasis on exposure and bringing things to the light. And these could be some major things coming to the light. And I thank you, spirit, <laughs> the sun card. Literally, as I'm speaking on Leo, it comes forth. All right, this is Leo energy. Like I just mentioned, it's ruled by the sun here. And that energy is running rampant at this time here, okay? So something could be coming to the light. You could be finding out something very interesting here in the next seven days. Um, it might throw you off guard, but I feel like for the most part here, um, you're going to be positive about the situation. Um, and you're going to be diligent about it as well. It's going to be something that you're going to be able to work through. And I feel like there's a level of success that's going to pan out of this situation for you. There's joy here, okay? Um, so let's see what else popped out because we had two cards that popped out. And the second one is the Nine of Swords, which is Gemini energy. And this is someone who's jaded. This is someone who has nightmares. Um, this is someone who is anxiety written. Um, like I mentioned, I, it's, it's wounded energy. It's it's jaded. And it's definitely someone um, I feel like who is, it's night and day here. You're in this sun energy and you have this other person, like I mentioned in the beginning of the reading, um, just not in a happy place, not in a good place. All right, maybe that's going to be exposed here um, that you do have a mole in your circle. And once you remove this, you know, it's going to be clear skies for you um, from there. It's like someone having nightmares about your success or your happiness, even if you don't have a lot. You know, it's just something pure about energy. We got the King of Wands, more Leo energy to clarify. Did I not say Leo is everywhere right now? Wow. Thank you, Spirit. Even at the bottom of the deck, more Leo energy. That lion don't look too happy. You see how happy she is? She's still going to get her way. And look where his heart is, up here. Not in his chest. This Leo right here, this lion is, is out of his mind right now. I feel like talking out the side of his neck here. So just be aware of that. You know, you got the king of wands here. This is a promiscuous energy as well. I feel like somebody might be mad because they have to do things that you don't have to do to even reach a little piece or a little peak 
of the success that you reach when you put your hand on something and introduce it here. And this might be people who are professionals and what they do and have studied and put in hours, you know, behind what they do here. Um, but for some reason it is, you do it better here or you do it brighter or what you're doing is, is something that's fresh and needed here. And it's, it's not very easy to duplicate um, or, or, you know, recreate here. Someone is losing strength. You're gaining it. And you want to know why? Because they've been playing devil's advocate. And when you play with the devil, the devil always comes back to collect. And guess what? There's always a fine print that the devil leaves out. And that's your soul, baby. Seven of Pentacles. What did I say? I feel like you... Are, are growing something here, or whether this is, and it doesn't have to be much, you know, it, to others, you can look like something is grander or big, bigger, or you could be just somebody who's creative and you know how to make things look good and know how to put them together. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like you're a designer wearing type of person here, but um, you were just given something, a gift and you use it. You know, and I feel like this energy has the same power, but instead of using their gift, they want to borrow yours because it looks more appealing. It looks more satisfying. The route that you're taking, the results that you're garnering here in the next seven days, give or take here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> they want to borrow it. They don't want to borrow it. They want to take your shit in the next Seven days, give or take here. Look how angry this man is in the background. He is steaming mad walking away. The nine of wands here, but you will each and every time you're going to come back. You may come back a little scuffed up, you know, like you've been through something, but um, you're going to heal and persevere as always. Five of swords, though, is this an energy of somebody ready to fight? They ready to fight you. This is abuse in some way. This is resentment towards you. And you may not even have a clue. It's giving passive aggressive. Ten of Pentacles is what you don't see. Somebody going to go to their grave sick and worried about you. feel like you're going to be laughing at these clowns in the next seven days, give or take. Ha ha. Ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. How about that is what this is giving here. You keep growing collective. Your hard work is paying off. Results is what you're giving. Okay. And they can't take. It's like, damn, did we not get rid of him? Did we not get rid of her? Nope. Try again. Mother soccer. Try again. The chariot. <laughs> you still moving. You might look light, but you're very well so heavy. Heavy artillery is what you coming through with. It's like that Leonardo DiCaprio movie, you know, catch me if you can here. This is what this energy is. Somebody trying to play catch up, but they can't make no moves until you make the move. Because remember, they're not authentic. So that very well may be a clue to somebody out there. They may be symbolic. You're not crazy. You're influencing You know, it's like these are your sons oh, or your kids. Look at all these. It's like one real baby here in the sun card. And look at all the rest of the sunflowers. They're not real babies. But they're back there portraying or, you know, trying to look the part in some way, shape or form here. And be aware of that. Whoever this is, is coming in. This is someone who is very sharp, very good looking, very charming. Um, this is someone who will charm the pants off of you, but this is more so a wolf in sheep's clothing. So five of swords energy, take heed to someone trying to come in and sabotage you. 
the magician, Aries energy. Someone's tricks, someone's games, someone's lies, someone's manipulations are catching up to them in the next seven days. And I feel like that's going to be exposed here. You may not be happy about it, but like I mentioned here, I feel the outcome of the situation. Um, this is something you need to hear, see, or feel. It's going to be some type of closure here for you to move forward successfully and confidently. Oh, God, it's way too many. Five of Wands, Leo energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. The Five of Wands, that's the card that just fell on the floor over here. Got the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Almighty High Priestess, Twelfth House Energy, Pisces. And this is also Secrets. And you listening to your third eye. Did I not say, I feel like when this is exposed here, this is going to uh, open up something for you. Um, you're going to be able to segue into success a little bit more easier here the ace of swords is a, a card of a confirmation of truth and not only that this is your breakthrough this is mental swords are, are all about um not just air energy but this is is mental your mental power and how things affect you how you are able to think and how you create how you mold something here is very something there's something very unique um, about the way your brain act is activated and, and, and the ideas that come to you. So definitely um, keep your third eye chakra wide open. The Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. You know, this is all plotting on how to keep you stuck, how to keep you small. And someone was playing on that. They could have been playing on your mental, um, saying things to you that just really put you in a place where maybe you don't feel like you're good enough or it makes you second guess yourself here or it kind of gives you or tries to put you in a negative outlook and here's the king of manipulation if you ask me the king of swords can be <laughs> in reverse this is someone who is oppressive and brutal and controlling okay it's the king of swords there's this isn't an, someone who has a charming intellect about them but at the same time can be a raging asshole here and that's what this energy is giving me like somebody is very good at hiding who they really are when it comes to you and maybe when it comes to when you are around others but that's often to come to a close here the queen of cups And the Three of Pentacles. It's like you're a Queen of Wands. Someone is a Queen of Cups. There's nothing wrong with the Queen of Cups. But the Queen of Cups comes off as an energy of a pushover. Someone who's very too nice. Um, caring and loving, you know, somebody that's easy to run over when it, when, and especially in a group setting. So I feel like one thing this person definitely lacks is um, what you embody here. And the Queen of Wands is someone who's fiery naturally. This person is vivacious, independent, and validation is, is something that is not in the Queen of Wands' vocabulary here. So I feel like that's going to be clear here in the next seven days. You being able to tell you apart from the rest here 
It's just something very significant about that and, and about you here, okay? There can only be one high priestess. That's why I feel like whoever this is, um, is, they're having to migrate towards your direction here and sabotage. It's not really an energy of teamwork here because you have the five of swords. So beware of people wanting to collaborate with you, um, work together in some sort, and especially inviting you out places that you know you don't fuck around with these people in the next seven days, give or take here. So be mindful of that. The Empress, yeah, watch your energy. Most importantly, watch your back. You know, there's a glow up in process and it has all to do with you. And this is the mother of creativity, um, abundance, nature, the Knight of Cups, you know, someone with a big heart and a lot to give here in the next seven days, give or take. And somebody wants to pray on that, sadly, um, but they're not gonna get a happy outcome in this situation here because like i mentioned ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun collective here and you and this empress energy um so hmm. and high priestess the number 23 could be significant for you so not only this what you've done thus far i feel like is about to be amplified times five times 10 um what's about to come to the light what's coming to you financially especially i feel like someone has some type of gains coming in and it's something that you created and something that you put in out there so pat yourself on the back for that here okay i'm gonna leave this reading here hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me and i'll catch you guys later ciao